<laughs> you know who it is, and you know what time it is. Time to piss off some feminist trad cucks and whoever don't want to know the truth. Oh well, let's get started. What is going on, gents? It's RPM here, reporting from Mobile Command. Gentlemen, by now, there are so many content creators who have covered this particular article that was put out by Psychology Today. Oh, gentlemen, <laughs> I'm going to have so much fun picking this apart as I read this through my red pill lens. Oh, it's going to be wonderful because there are so many hidden messages behind this article and I'm going to pick them out as I go through it. Now let's dive into this article that was published on the 9th of August. Very convenient timing, I might add. And I'll go into detail as to why when I'm done. The rise of lonely single men. Dating apps and a drastically changing relationship landscape. Now, before I go any further, let's go ahead and address the two gatekeepers. Women are the gatekeepers to sex. Men are the gatekeepers to relationships. Now, what does the relationship landscape look like? It looks like a nuclear fucking wasteland. Why? Because men, by and large, are not able to get sex. So therefore, they've decided to nuke the relationship market. Ladies, no matter how much you try to deny this, if you're not giving a man sex, guess what? Men have no reason to give you the relationship slash commitment. However, something else that you women truly despise is the fact that a man can actually get sex without giving you a commitment. However, you cannot get a commitment from men unless you give up sex. Once again, men win. Younger and middle-aged men are the loneliest they've ever been in generations and it's likely going to get worse. The question is, for who? Ironically, believe it or not, it's not going to be men. And I'll explain later. This is not my typical rosy view of relationships, but a reality nonetheless. Over the last 30 years, men have become a larger portion of that growing group of long-term single people. Now the question would be, why? Well, when you look at things like social media, marriage, how marriage and relationships themselves have been utterly and totally destroyed due to the ever insatiable appetite of women. Yeah, women destroyed the dating market. And guess what? In turn, the relationship market got pretty much destroyed too. And while you don't actually need to be in a relationship to be happy, okay, so what the hell is the point behind this article? Once again, I'm going to go into detail. Men typically are happier and healthier when partnered. Once again, that old tired trope. Men need to be quote unquote domesticated. Men need to be partnered 
That way they have their own personal state sponsored monitor. Here are three broad trends in the relationship landscape that suggest heterosexual men are in for a rough road ahead. Now, one has to ask, why did they have to include heterosexual men? Hmm. Inquiring minds would like to know. Number one, dating apps. Gentlemen, dating apps, as we know, are trash. The odds of success are dismal at best. The overwhelming majority of women on said dating apps tend to be either bots or they're women who are probably already in relationships who are simply looking for quick validation. And they have no intentions of actually meeting up with you. Whether you're just starting to date or you're recently divorced and dating again, dating apps are a huge driver of new romantic connections in the United States. The only problem is that upwards of 62% of users are men and many women are overwhelmed with how many options they have. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. Women are overwhelmed by what they believe is the illusion of options. And like I previously said, the overwhelming majority of women there are actually there to get an ego boost. Competition in online dating is fierce and lucky in-person chance encounters with dreamy partners are rarer than ever, which solidifies my previous point. Number two, relationship standards. With so many options, or should I say the illusion of options, it's not surprising that women are increasingly selective. Now, let's go ahead and solidify the numbers game. Why are women selective when there are more women than there are men in this country? Once again, the illusion of choice. I do a live TikTok show and speak with hundreds of audience members every week. I hear reoccurring dating themes from women between the ages of, get this gentlemen, 25 to 45. However, as we all know, in our humble opinions, any woman after 35 should not have a dog in this fight. Why? Because guess what? She's already hit that biological wall. So she's really having nothing to actually bargain with. And remember, gents, what's the two things that all women bring to a man's life? Old box, new problems. They prefer men who are emotionally available, good communicators, and share similar values. Uh, yeah, stop the cap. We all know that what women say and what they do are always in complete opposition. Oh, I want a good man. But then she goes out and gets with the bad boy. Oh, I want a man that's emotionally available, yet he still has to earn six figures. <laughs> No, gentlemen, no. Number three, skills deficit. For men, this means a relationship skill gap that if not addressed will likely lead to fewer dating opportunities, less patience for poor communication skills, 
and longer periods of being single. The problem for men is that emotional connection is the lifeblood of healthy, long-term love. Oh my God, get your hip waiters out, gentlemen, because this shit is going to be very deep. Emotional connection requires all the skills that families are still not consistently teaching their young boys. Man, I tell you, this is so damn crazy. Going to skip down. Men have a key role in this transformation, but only if they go all in. <laughs> uh, yeah, no. It's going to take that kind of commitment to themselves, to their own mental health, to the kind of love that they want to generate in this world. Will we step up? Uh, yeah, no. It's like our esteemed brother, the Lion of MGTOW says, it's no longer man up. It is man the fuck out. Now, why is it that the timing of this article is convenient? Well, gentlemen, we are in a recession. Guess what? Big Daddy government cannot continue to pay for all of these women. However, this article is meant to do what? Try to gaslight more men into possibly going back to the plantation. Notice, this article pretty much says it's men's fault that relationships are, are pretty much bad. It's men's fault. Men, you need to do better. You need to step up. You need to change. Women, nah, everything they're doing is A-OK. -okay. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> But once again, it's going to get worse for women down the line. It's not going to get worse for men. Why? Because more and more men have realized just how much less stress that they have to deal with in dealing with one of these crazy ass modern women. Yeah. The guys who have decided to pretty much become neats, pretty much withdrawn from society, guess what? Even that has a silver lining. The guys who are staying in their mom's basement or their parents' basement, guess what? That scenario has a silver lining. You know what that is? I'm going to give it to you. So for the guys who have decided to opt out, play your video games, jerk off the porn, whatever. What's the one thing that these guys don't have? Debt. That's right. Those guys who will be classified as quote unquote basement dwelling neck beard losers who can't get a woman. Guess what? They don't have debt. And that's something that so many women have and will bring to a man's life. Oops, I let that secret slip out. Oh, I'm such a terrible guy. However, all in all, this article is meant to try to shame guys into essentially being better, quote unquote, for undeserving women. However, more and more men have decided, nope, I'm actively opting the hell out. Why? Because we see the landscape. What incentive do we have to go beyond the barest of minimums? What do I get in regards to a woman? 
a woman that's physically unattractive, who pretty much at best doesn't really want to be with me, and at worst outright hates me. Why on earth would men fight for something like that? Why would men work themselves into an early grave for essentially nothing? Yeah, right. So yeah, this article, once again, is meant to try to gaslight and shame men into thinking that they need to work even harder for a horrible, horrible product. However, thank you, social media. Thank you, TikTok, for showing the true toxic nature of modern women. And guess what? More and more men have simply said, uh, yeah, no, I don't want that deal. I don't want that product. Guess what? Whatever option I choose that brings me peace and happiness, that's what I'm going to choose. Be it a synthetic companion, be it getting my passport, or just opting out completely. The modern woman has proven to be no longer worthy of my time and effort. And yes, more and more men will come to that conclusion. So all in all, in the long run, it's women who are going to suffer. Because as men, we understand at a certain point in our lives, all we want is peace, quiet, and solitude. And guess what? Those are three things that the modern woman cannot provide. Well, I've rambled on long enough. Read the article. Let me know what you guys think. And ladies around the world, no matter how much the panda bear army tries to get men to change themselves, that way they can try to come and serve you. Mm -mm. More and more men have woken up, they've seen the dating landscape, and they've decided that they want nothing to do with it, especially nowadays. Oh, and gentlemen, be thankful to the feminist rags that got a hold of this article, because guess what? They're spreading it even more. And guess what? More men will be exposed to the outright misandry that is also pervasive in this world. That's all I got to say for this one. RPM, I am